An undercover investigation at the Wiseman Institute of Science revealed extremely abusive neuroscience experiments on cats and monkeys. These monkeys will spend up to four years in the laboratory. During this time, they're isolated in barren cages. They're kept hungry and thirsty so that they become motivated to work in exchange for a sip of water. This laboratory receives money from the U.S. government's National Institutes of Health and private foundations, including the Horace W. Goldsmith Foundation, to drill holes into the skulls of monkeys and cats, immobilize them in restraint chairs, and insert electrodes directly into their brains. During the first two years, the monkeys are strapped into restraint chairs for one to two hours per day while their vision is focused on a small spot on a monitor. If the monkey responds correctly to a small spot as it appears and disappears on a screen, he receives a reward of a few drops of water through a tube connected to the mouth. Here, a monkey named Shuki undergoes one of these sessions. Monkeys, like this one named Pikachu, have their scalps removed and two holes drilled through their skulls. Experimenters attach a dental cement cast directly to the open wound. For two years following these surgeries, monkeys are made to sit in a primate chair for up to eight hours per day. Their heads are immobilized with a large screw, and their exposed brains are photographed. Some monkeys have their entire bodies paralyzed with drugs so that they cannot move during experimentation. At the end of the studies, some of the monkeys are killed and their brains are removed. This monkey, named Coco, has his head immobilized with a large screw. He winces in pain and kicks his legs while the area around his head implant is shaved and the open wound is disinfected with concentrated iodine solution and hydrogen peroxide. Once a week, a cat is taken into the laboratory. For 24 hours, the cat is kept in a small cage without any food or water. Here, part of a cat's skull is removed to expose her brain. Like the monkeys, the cat is immobilized in a restraint device. The cat's eyes are forcibly kept open, and the cat is forced to watch objects on a computer screen. At the end of the one-day experiment, the cat is killed. These invasive and violent experiments on animals have been conducted for more than 25 years at the Wiseman Institute. Similar sick experiments using your tax dollars occur every day in labs across the United States. These experiments are both cruel and unscientific. Sophisticated clinical research methods, such as MEGs and microelectrode implants, are available to ethically study and document the brain activity of humans down to a single neuron. Find out about PETA's documentation of cruelty to animals at Columbia University, the Universities of Washington and Connecticut, and more, and find out how you can help PETA save animals from this gruesome fate. Thank you.